Hello everyone. I know that in my last video, I said that I was preferring Bruiser than Mage in 1vxs. And that was largely because I was lacking the burst on the Mage. And so I decided to start working, rather than going on the Bruiser, I decided to start working on getting that burst on the Mage. Because I know that they're capable of it. So this week, I've got three things to really go over. I want to go over... Um, how I've developed my burst combos throughout the week and that really helps and improves significantly uh, so I'll show the kind of beginning to the end and then I want to go on about how I land those burst combos more effectively so effectively it's like playing a game of chicken and you just got to lure people into the burst combos and then I just want to show some 1vx's that I had once I would kind of developed those burst combos because I felt like my ability to 1vx also improved significantly um, from kind of like just working on that. So yeah, that's kind of the video for today So I'm gonna show you some fights I had at the start of the week where I really this is where I was Obviously at the start of the week where my combos just weren't that good In fact, I wasn't really even getting combos off you can see here I'm kind of just firing my fireball and then I don't really follow it up with anything so I'm not kind of chaining these attacks together to try to do a lot of damage on them. So really the strategy I'm doing here is like just trying to wear them down. There's no kind of method to my madness. Um, if Fireball comes up my cooldown, I pretty much fire at them. And I'm not trying to get a big bunch of burst off on the person all at once, which is, which is how you get bursts on a mage. And actually, as I started to do it throughout the week, I realized, man, the mage burst is actually pretty insane. Um, yeah, like really, really good burst. It's just all about timing and landing those combos um, and being patient at getting them off. So this is an example of kind of like what not to do. I'm just, there's no, I'm not chaining them together. I'm just doing the skills whenever they come off cooldown. Not ideal. But I had little moments of glory like here early on in the week where I, if I chained all my attacks together, I got burst and kills really, really quickly. And so that kind of became my goal was I, I started being like, okay, I really, really need to start landing some of these combos. By midweek, you can see that I'm starting to try to chain the combos together. Um, but it's, you know, obviously still needs some work like there. I kind of did them sort of in succession, succession of each other. Uh, this is a really good jewel of it too. You can see that I'm actually trying to land my combos like in a big hit on them. Um, I'm just like not that. <laughs> not that successful at it but you see there I tried to get him in the ice and then I did the ice spike so I actually managed to, to kill him and so here I noticed so by the end of the week my burst was actually getting a lot better I can see a healer here to my left so you can see I do all my combos on them fireball ice spike let's let's watch that again in slow motion shall we friends fireball put down the ice ice spike Here's another example of it in a duel. I managed to get my burst combo off on him, but he's still up. So I put, get my ice combo, get my ice spike, pillar of fire, and then I get trapped in the ice shower, much to my disgust, but then he runs himself out of stem so I can finish him with an ice spike. Another example of that here, I see that guy to the back, so I try to land my combo and I get a fireball on him. And then I get the ice spike and finish them off. Obviously, you want to do an ice storm in there as well to get the extra 25% damage. So let's just. So yeah, by the end of the week, I was really doing well. Not perfect. I was missing a lot of the time, but my um, combos were definitely better than they were at the start of the week. So another thing that I learned over the week was, in order to get those combos off, you've got to be willing to take some damage and get up in their face. So you can see here that I'm dueling this guy. And I'm staying really close to him because it just makes it easier for me to be able to land my combos and dump them on top of him. So I, I kind of learned over the week to be a bit patient um, and actually just like be willing to maybe take a punch or two if it means you can get your combos off because mages have actually got pretty insane bursts. So you, you can see a really good example of that here. I mean, I've got this hatchet guy on me and he's been on me the whole time just hammering away at me. And I'm kind of kiting around, but I'm obviously kiting really close to him. And I'm getting some of my big attacks up on him. But I need to stay close. To, uh, because my aim isn't that good yet. So by staying close to him, I'm able to get some of my big combos off and do a lot of damage to him. Like here, and then I can finish him off. So pairing those two things together, kind of lining up my burst combos better. And again, they're not perfect. Like I can get so much better on them. 
but again, they were so much better than they were at the start of the week. So, oh, so and that's one of the things I'm loving about the majors. I'm really seeing the improvement as I'm putting the work in. Um, so as I pair those two together, willing to take a little bit of a hit in the face to line up the combos and to get those combos off. I noticed that my 1BXs were getting a lot better. At the start of the week on the mage, I could kind of kite quite a few people, but it was kind of rare to get kills. Now that I'm getting those burst combos going off, um, I can have, like you can just see there, I can, and I get a little excited about it, um, I can be 1VXing people and killing maybe one or two people during those 1VXs, so that's not, you know, there are people that do better than that, um, but it's so much more better than at the start of the week where I was, like I said, I could kite people a lot of people but getting kills was like quite difficult and that's largely just due to landing those burst combos off so all in all it's been really good and yeah again that's just what i really really have enjoyed about the mage was that as i've worked on my burst combos as i've worked on my play style um I, i've just really noticed the difference and the improvement over the week um both in terms of just like the results like getting more kills than one of the x's and all that kind of stuff so that's kind of been ultra fun. So you can see in this one VX, I've kind of killed, I killed one more person there, and then um, I get caught on the rock and die. But you know that was a pretty good one VX um, for like, well, I guess that's a two VX. So here's another one where I just feel like I'm fighting for my life, uh, especially in the first half. My teammate Leo, so it's actually two VXs, I say one VXs, but a lot of them are two VXs. I guess I'm so used to calling them one VXs. Um, they start attacking me, so I'm just kiting around trying to survive. But he's kind of picking them up with the bow, which is quite nice. So I kill one there, and then he says that he's jumped off, so I um, come off to join him. Obviously they all come out. So I'm trying to get that combo on him, get my ice storm down. The spike is really low. I, oh, I just, if it wasn't for that blimmin' hatchet, that guy would have been dead. But I managed to kill him with one of my dots, which is good. But you can see that, although it's not perfect, um, and obviously I've, there's a lot of room for improvement and getting my combos off, um, now I'm getting them all low. Like, you'll see a good example of that coming up soon. This, but until then, I get this fire mage, she comes up to me. I go to go for the ice spike, but I miss it. So then when I do this fire charge, Rather than using it to finish him off, I have just used it to create some space. Ace, but unfortunately, my teammate gets him, isolated him, on the other side. So I'm trying to call him, go get behind the plumbing wall. But he um, gets caught out and ends up getting killed, unfortunately. So then it becomes a um, 1v3. So I'm just kind of like shooting at them. So here you'll see a good example of like where I get some of the, all, like I get all, all of them really low. Um, but yeah, I just don't, I, I need to finish, manage to finish, like, I think one of them off. But you can see they're coming at me. I wait for them to come up to me, and then I try to get some attacks. I'm sort of a bit of cat and mouse at the moment. I try to get them to come into that pillar of fire, get an ice spike off, putting down the ice shower. So they're all chasing after me. I'm just trying to weave in, get a nice fireball on them. See, they're all very, really low, especially that guy there. Um, so as I improve at getting my combos off, I know I'll do better 1VXs, it's just a matter of time. Um, right now though, I mean, I get this guy so low, but my just terrible Stormtrooper aim doesn't finish him off, unfortunately. And so, but that's, you can hear, that he would have died, I could hear his um, hatchet thing um, trigger again, so that's kind of annoying. Try to catch that guy in the pillar of fire, drop a fireball on him, but miss all of them. Oh, come on! So, but yeah, I'm screaming there because I got to do an entomb and it doesn't go off. And so it was kind of where I needed it. But I managed I managed to kill one of them with the ice spike. Um, and then this guy just decides to uh, end it there and just run off. So that was kind of the end of it. But yeah, like, it's not perfect. But compared to what I was doing on my mage previously, I'm pretty happy Dude. with where it's going. So this is a good little 1v2 I get myself into. Um, I'm getting shot by muskets all over the place, and muskets are kind of like the one thing that I find really hard to fight. So they're kind of shooting at me, but I managed to get inside. And this guy, I get some nice combos off. He's on a hatchet, but I, he runs right into me. So I managed to get a lot of damage into him really, really, really quickly. But I am getting shot at by the musket, and I see some people coming in, so I just want to kind of create a little distance to sort of analyze the situation, 
but I realized that it's not as bad as I thought. So I managed to drop a fireball on him. He obviously, I don't know why he didn't heal, or maybe he just ran out of potions. But now I've got this musket guy. This I like this fight because I get so low. He's kind of got me, you know, all my cooldowns are off, so I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. Um, so I'm just trying to get my cooldowns back up so I can get those burst combos onto him. But yeah, he's he's... So he's been a nice little shot. I'm just trying to lay some damage into him. But really, I'm just trying to line him up to get a combo on him. I missed the ice bike there. He reposts that pillar of fire. And then he gets a bomb on me. But I get into the entomb so that it doesn't do massive amounts of damage on me. Getting another heal. He dodges that fireball. He runs into that pillar of fire. I drop the ice storm on him. Miss the ice spike. Um, but he dies in the dots. Yep, so... Finally, this will be the last one. Uh, this ends up in, in a little 1v2. But yeah, basically it's been a lot of fun. I feel like compared to the Bruiser, I just really noticed the more work I put into it and the more I practice things, uh, it seems like the benefits really pay off. So yeah, I, I kind of love in Mage right now. So I've been Julian as well. This is against one of the better bow players on our server. Uh, I just want to be up front. He had killed me multiple times before um, these duels. But one thing I noticed when I was fighting him was when I fought at range. Um, a, just because my aim sucks as well, a little bit. Um, I was, I was, you know, just losing. And when I got really aggressive and up in his face, my fights did a lot better. So that was the first duel that I lost. That was one of the first times I really, really tried to get really aggro and up in his face. Um, so this is straight after that fight where, again, I'm like, yeah, that seemed to work. I got him quite low. Let's try that again. And so I try, as you can see, I'm trying to close the distance to get that, get him within that combo range, my danger. Um, so I guess the next thing I want to start to work on next time, which will be more of a long term plan, is being able to get the combos off at range. But I just need to get my aim better, and that's probably going to come with time. But you can see I'm just wearing him down, and then I managed to finish him up. So another example of that with also another really good bow player on our server. Um, and so he is, um, uh, my mistake here is, uh, again, he beats me way more than I beat him, like a lot more. But, you know, I kind of like the challenge of being able to try to figure them out. Um, he's just much better at aiming from range. So, uh, yeah, I lose that one. But what an example is when I get really aggressive with him, um, I'm able to slightly even the odds and maybe get some more wins against him. So that's kind of cool. I'm trying to get all nice and close. Um, but these are both really good bow users, like I said, they usually win, but I like being able to figure out tactics on how to um, beat them. And so, here we have the fight, I'm just trying to get that fireball finish them off again. Okay, I, anyway, I just thought I'd uh, include this last duel. Obviously, Melee's at a massive disadvantage against a mage. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to wrap up, really, and this is the only duel I had left. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually really, really enjoying Mage this week, um, loving the progression, and so I'm going to carry on and seeing where I can get more 1vxs um, out of them. Great Sword's coming, so that might pose a few problems, but um, we'll see how it goes. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and um, I will see you soon. I've got an OPR video I'm going to put up in the next few days as well, so you'll be able to see what I'm like an OPR on a Mage.